The Mirror project was a four-year project funded by the European Union to develop new types of technology. One of the domains that we applied these technologies to was residential care in the UK. Our objective is to make person-centred care as holistic as we can and, and make it as appropriate as we can for the individuals that we're looking after. We've developed new mobile technologies to help carers be more creative and reflective when they deliver person-centred care. Certainly dementia care can be some of the most challenging but equally some of the most rewarding areas of work. We need to equip our carers effectively to be able to take on those challenges. We've got to think about what skills, what knowledge are we equipping people with? Are we equipping them at all to, before they go in and work with many, many people, each with their own unique needs? We started an exciting technology project with City University in December last year and we started using um, touchscreen iPods to record daily care notes. So staff care carry devices with them and this enables them to post a um, short message or short update about each resident. Just having the iPhone there without the phone capability allows them to put more information into the system in, in a more timely manner and at a time when they've only just delivered that care. You can hold it with you, you can bring it anywhere, that's why it is very practical and convenient. You don't need to stop the activities, you just sit beside the residents. I think we always want to spend as much time as possible with our residents and have this quality time uh, spent with them. But then we have a lot of documentation, so I think that's the, that's the challenge. It is very essential to document all the things about the resident in order to meet quality health care. We used to have missing notes, documentation, at times you will know when and what happened. There is a risk that people have to stop doing what they're doing, i.e. caring for somebody, to actually write the records. So finding innovative, creative ways of documenting what's happened is crucial. Over the last few years, we've seen a vast increase in the use of mobile technologies. The staff that we employ are well used to using their own touch screens, their own iPhones, and therefore the acceptance of that sort of technology has been absolutely transformed over the last three, four, five years. We've developed a piece of software called the Digital Life History. It's taking the idea of the life stories that is already used in care homes for reminiscing and moving it into a digital space where we can make full use of the digital media that's available, including things like Google Maps, videos on YouTube, any kind of photos and digital things that families can contribute. Anything that you can find online can be included in this Digital Life History. So, I mean, having the Life History app You've got everything on hand to, to help stimulate that person or engage them in conversation. To be able to have everything on one device and just to have it accessible at the touch of a screen, it makes the interactions with people so much more spontaneous than what it used to be, you know. There's nothing worse than having to take a folder over to someone or a photo album or it looks so unnatural in a sense. But like just to have a device with you and just be able to strike up that spontaneous rapport with someone, it's, it's been completely different. I think at the beginning we have a lot of hesitation, uh, thinking how it's going to be with the new technology, but now I can't imagine going back to the paper version of the daily care notes. We have more time now with the residents, unlike before, because <laughs> we have to carry all the things, big folders. By using um, new technology, I don't have to write in front of the resident when I do the assessment. My whole attention is actually dedicated to the resident. So using mobile technology within the business to actually improve data quality or, or improve the amount of data that we've actually got has started to become a lot easier than it was, say, five years ago. Those apps can really connect people up, further progress, further the quality of care, and if we're really serious as a country about providing an excellent standard of dementia care, then that's what we need. We need collaboration and communication. I think these apps can do that.